technology in spinal cord stimulation is very complex and as a result is very expensive. A number of studies have shown, however, that with time it pays for itself. In fact, after a couple of years, the cost benefit with spinal cord stimulation becomes very significant. The good news is that the private health funds will cover the cost of the stimulator system itself, which can often be thirty or forty thousand dollars. Patients never see those bills. Spinal cord stimulation is implantation of a medical device to treat chronic pain. It involves the placement of one or two electrodes across the back of the spinal cord and these are connected to a battery or implantable pulse generator which delivers the electrical current to the electrodes and to the spinal cord. What then happens is that the nerve fibres that transmit pain are affected by this small voltage current and this reduces the level of pain that the patient experiences. What actually happens is that the pain tends to be replaced by a more harmless sensation of vibration or buzzing in the area of the body affected. Spinal cord stimulation is a minimally invasive treatment option for pain. It's non-destructive, it's reversible, it doesn't involve fusing the spine, it doesn't involve removing parts of the discs. What we can do is remove the system if it's not working. To ensure that the patient has the best chance of success, we undertake a trial of stimulation before implanting a permanent system. Once the trial is over, the electrodes are removed and a decision is made based on the results of the trial whether to head down the path of a permanent system several weeks later. Thank you.